Minnesota's congressional delegation mostly cruised to re-election last week. There is only one new face, a woman representing the West Metro. Caroline Cummings caught up with Democratic Congresswoman-elect Kelly Morrison in Washington. DFL Congresswoman-elect Kelly Morrison is in Washington this week for new member orientation, learning the ropes of Congress after spending five years serving in the state capitol in St. Paul. Our country has a lot of serious work ahead, and I'm, I'm ready to get, get at it. But before politics, it was the exam room with her patients. Morrison is a physician and has made national headlines for being the first and only pro-abortion rights OBGYN in Congress in a post-Roe versus Wade America. That experience has shaped her approach to elected office. We have a maternal health crisis unfolding across the country, and so I am concerned about the possibility of uh, future and further restrictions being imposed on the American people. She also vows support for lowering prescription drug costs and to provide more resources for veterans and their families. Morrison will replace incumbent Congressman Dean Phillips, who announced he wasn't running for re-election after his failed bid for the Democratic nomination for president. The once reliably red 3rd District has gotten blue and bluer in recent cycles, but Morrison vows a bipartisan approach. One of the bills I'm most proud of that I passed in the Minnesota legislature was one to extend health insurance for new moms and their babies from just 60 days to 12 months. And I did that with the help of a Republican legislator uh, with whom I disagreed on abortion. So I know that we can find common ground on a lot of these issues. And she'll have to work with the other side to get anything done because right now House Republicans are poised to hold on to their House majority with votes still being counted. And that means it would give the GOP trifecta control in Washington. Caroline Cummings, WCCO News. With Morrison's election, seven out of 10 in the Minnesota delegation are women.